gang, and welcome to It's All About Arts. My name is Glenn Williams, and I'm your host. And to my right and to your left, of course, is the lovely Amanda Lamaroo Smith. Hello, Hello how are you? I'm good. How are you? Thank glad? you for coming back. Yes, I had a good time. I'm <laughs> that's, back. That's good. I'm glad. <laughs> Listen, we're coming to you live. For, we're coming live to you from our beautiful studios here at BNN TV, and you are more than welcome to join us if you like. We're at 617-708-3290. Great staff of BNN are in the other room answering the phones, and we're also simulcasting at W. BCA 102.9 on your FM dial. Hello, gang, out there. If you're riding in your cars or walking around Jamaica Pond, I hope you have a raincoat and an umbrella. Yeah. Because boy, was that rain coming Ooh, in? Must have been bad. tough coming up from coming up 24. Yes. It, it wasn't bad until I got um, a little bit closer to the city, but you could not see at all. It yeah, was dead I know. stop traffic. It was scary. The wind yeah, was really you bad, too. you got to be careful. I hope everyone's being careful out there and, uh, and taking care of themselves. Um, welcome, everybody. I'm glad everybody's having a super summer. I hope everybody's enjoying themselves. I know that we are. We had a great day down in Rosendale at the Farmer's Market this past Saturday. It was great. Uh, telescope played great jazz band four yeah. piece jazz band guitar keyboards bass and drums they were My awesome. My nephew loves jazz and he's 15 and I think that's fantastic, That's awesome. Right? <laughs> jazz has been around forever. I you know, know. He's, he's an older soul. Well, yes yeah. well there's there's a lot of young cats out there that are playing these days you know and so it's it's really 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 good. Yeah, I'm, awesome. I've been enjoying it. Um, I hope everyone's watching the if you're not watching us which you should be watching us <laughs> Uh, the Republicans are at it at the convention right now. They're all yelling and screaming at each other. I left the house mm. <laughs> laughing. I couldn't believe it. It was it was so much fun. It sounded like, but uh, the season has is upon us. So think yes. about think about your country. Think about the think about what's going on too. You know, I mean, keep yourselves safe out there. Please be mindful of your surroundings and all of that. Good jazz and uh, do something artful. Yes, it for makes sure. You feel better, right? Mm -hmm. What have you been up to, Amanda? How's everything? Good. This weekend was eventful. Uh, yeah. Friday night, uh, my boyfriend and I went to Warren, Rhode Island. Um, my cousin's boyfriend is an artist. Oh, good. He's um, at Tufts right now doing his masters, and he had his showing at um, Imago Gallery in Warren, um, and his uh, his pieces were called Drawing Conclusions. It was excellent. Uh, so we went to support him there. What's his medium and stuff? What's he um, doing He does uh, abstract um, visual with, uh, he does it on canvas, a lot of drawing, Painting? acrylics, yeah. Yeah, good, good, good. Yep, yep, and he sold a really big piece, so that was exciting. It's always exciting to sell a piece, you know? Yeah, it was I a mean, big one, uh, too. Yeah, I mean, artists are in it for, for a lot of reasons. One of the great reasons is because they want to share their work. But if somebody gets a chance to, to put something in someone's home, that's even more exciting. And his name is Doug Baralt, by the way. Just Doug. to mention that. Shout out to Doug. Doug. <laughs> yes. Doug, you out there? Call us. <laughs> Let us know when you can come in. Yeah. It'll be fun to have him, have him, have him here. Yeah. And then Saturday we had uh, a wedding. That was in Hanover, and that was fun. It was. You got uh, married? No, not me. Oh, I'm sorry. A friend's, <laughs> a friend's wedding. That was really beautiful. It was over the water, and uh, they actually did a camp out. Um, for the night, so we did fires and s'mores, and it was really beautiful. Very really cool. One of the things that I did was we went to Low Budget Records and saw a showing of a newly released, cleaned up the audio sound of the concert for Bangladesh with George Harrison and Eric Clapton and wow. Ravi Shankar and all that. Boy, it was amazing. I hadn't seen it in years, and it was great to sit around with my contemporaries and watch that. Boy, it was Took back, I brought back a lot of memories. memories but yeah. I'd forgotten how the quality of the of the performances. I mean, they, they, the cats were on on their game. It was great. Leon Russell, Billy Preston, all those guys. Yeah. Ringo Starr. I mean, it was cool. Badfinger. Right. So I really enjoyed that. And that's, that's one awesome. of the things that we're doing at Low Budget Records now is that we're showing a lot of old rock and roll films and concerts. Uh, we saw the Talking Heads not too long ago. Uh, I know that we're going to be showing some of the great Transmission Hour shows that we, we recorded here at BNN. Uh, Tim Casey, the, great, the Grand Poobah, we got membership over at Studio A. And on early, early Saturday mornings, we were bringing in bands from around New England that were performing, playing now, not kind of thrown together things. Yeah. And so they were pretty sharp. And with five cameras, we shot them and we recorded them in 16-track digital 
recording. Awesome. So we shot them in high definition. And so we have all, about 34 of these programs that, by the way, they're also being simulcast on WBCA 102.9 on your FM dial. Uh, that's uh, some of the programming that's being put on there. And there's still another call out for musicians, Boston musicians, Boston area musicians and, and performers. We're looking for your original recordings to put on the radio station. So uh, please remember us and send your stuff out to G. Williams, that's me, at bnntv.org. And we're putting all those folders together of, uh, of Boston music to play on the radio. And what's the deadline for that? You, uh, you know, one? I think we're going to continually we pull that in. You know, I think we're going to going to keep collecting music as, as long as we can. I right. mean, the radio station is going to be here forever. And it's, it's kind of a cool uh, radio station. Uh, it's commun Boston Community Radio. And the idea behind it is to is to show some of this programming as uh, that's done in Studio B and and Studio A people's programs that can play on the radio as well as on right. on, on on TV because you know it's it's kind of tough sometimes if if you're showing a film to do it on the radio right. it doesn't always wash but you know the conversations that we're fortunate enough to have here at Boston Neighborhood Network do play on the radio as well so it, we're, we're simulcasting a lot of that work uh, we're also going to be featuring different musicians uh, I know that my guys are going to be sending in stuff for, to be played on the radio which is a great opportunity, great opportunity you yeah. know it's low frequency so it's not you know it's not all over the place, right? You know, but it is Boston proper, and you can you can tune in and listen. I, I I get in the car when I'm leaving here, and I can listen to different programming and some different music from Boston. So, awesome. Keep that tuned in, guys. So, make sure you let us know too, please. Give, send us an email or give us a shout. Let us know how that's coming along. If you're in it's 102.9. 102.9 WBCA on your FM dial, real radio. Real radio, woohoo! Not on internet radio. <laughs> See, I did internet radio for a long time. I was a, I was a, I was a DJ for Cyber Station USA, and it was like a, it was all, it was, it was huge. It was lots and lots of people. But I did, I did a show called uh, Radio Glen. Radio Glen. <laughs> Funny story. The, the, the one of the producers came into the station after came into the studio after I'd done my show and said. We're going to bring in a uh, linguistic person to uh, work on your Yikes. Boston accent. It's authentic. What do and you I want? And I said, oh, oh, really? Next thing I know, the head honcho came down and says, you touch that. You change his voice. You're out of here. Because <laughs> we were doing Boston, Boston music, you right, know? So, right. you, know, well, you know, you just mm -hmm. had to keep that kind of thing going. Are you working on any pieces? Because I'm going to show you off in a couple of minutes. I yes. want to know if you've been doing any, any work lately. I have, not as much as I should be, but I'm trying to dedicate um, a few hours a week to keep it rolling. A few hours a week? Yes. Oh. But you can't force art. It okay. comes to you when it comes to you. Yeah, you know, I've all, I'm all, I, I, it's one of my questions I ask my, my photographer, musician, and artist friends if they're disciplined enough to be able to just sit down and work on something, or mm -hmm. is it bolt of lightning, especially songwriters and stuff, because it's, it's not always a switch you can turn on and off. You right. Know? I agree. So you have to sometimes find, uh, we've got a great guest tonight from, from U Forge Gallery. We're going to talk about stuff like that. And... Uh, and when they just had their open studios, what a huge success open studios was for them, and, and it's very, very exciting. So, but um, well, they just had Porch Fest too over there too. So, we're we're kind of mirroring Rosendale and Jamaica Plain are, are doing some of the some similar stuff. Cool. Yeah, so it's kind of fun. Sounds fun. So, what are you working on? Um, I'm gonna keep it secret until it's ready, and oh, then I'll bring it on. Then I'll bring it on. Yeah. I see. Because I never black when, paper on the windows. I get it. <laughs> It never turns out the way it starts, so. Is it an adventure for you? Oh, for sure. Is it? For sure. I and mean, it layering, texturing, and, you know, I, yeah. I let it go. Yeah. So. See, I, 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 know, I know some people who have to map it out particularly so. and do it, and this is, this is what I'm going to do next, me. this is what happens. And then there's people like us that just, okay, I feel like painting, and off you go. <laughs> You're right. And see where, see where it lands you. I want to show this. This is kind of cool. Can I wear it here? <laughs> or can I be Flavor Flay? Is that his name? Can yes, yes. Flavor. That's funny. This, no, it goes on the wall. This. Tell me about this. This is great. So this is a clock. Um, 
that was an antique clock, and it, the inspiration came from Alice in Wonderland and the um, the hole that, that she falls into, and all the different, you know, the the yeah. bunny with the with the stopwatch, and just yeah. you know how time is such an the illusion. The Mad Hatter and yeah. all of that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Off with his head. Yeah. Um, Very mystical and offbeat. It is beautiful. It's great. Thanks. I love it. Someone stepped on the back. That's my footprint. Oh, that's yeah. right. Huh? This is how you sign your work. Dig this yes. up, Jess. This that's is, actually... Uh, is this your foot? That's my footprint. And you can tell that I actually did step in my own palette because my <laughs> toe is a different color. And my, <laughs> that's that was the original, cool. So that's what I use now for the So if you see any paintings out there with a footprint on the back... In the process. It's Amanda's work. <laughs> that's great. And this piece. Now this isn't on canvas. What is this on? So this actually was a picture of Marilyn Monroe that I had bought at, uh, I'm not sure, Marshalls. And I liked the sturdiness of it and I needed uh, something to paint on. So I like to mix it up, not always use uh, canvases. <laughs> so this inspiration was uh, Pop Rocks. If you see it, it's kind of like little mini explosions all over the place and uh, bright colors. And Can I read what it says back here? Yeah. <laughs> Every great artist is a thief. That's a quote. <laughs> Poor Marilyn. She's in, there. She's in there somewhere, isn't she? Well, I mean, it's kind of, if you think about her lifestyle, her lifestyle was kind of all over the place, too, so yeah. I guess that's a little yeah. foreshadowing there. Now, um, if you had to categorize yourself, are you an abstract artist? Is I that, would say so, yeah, yeah for say, sure. Yeah. Um, how long have you been doing it? Uh, doing this, it's new to you, isn't it? It is. It? So about a, a year and a half. That's amazing. Yeah. That's great. And, ha and, and what about shows and stuff? We've got to get you in a Rosendale Arts Alliance show. Yeah, I would love to. You I'm know? definitely open to it. Yeah, there's, uh, we have several different places where we show off our, our artistic friends and stuff. You'd be great at it. Cool, I'm in. Okay, good, good, good. Well, that's great. I'm glad you're back here for your second week. Yes. Uh, we're going to uh, meet after a couple of weeks and, and, and talk a little bit about Maybe you branching off on, on doing something during the show? Is that, uh, yeah, is that I'm excited for that. Thinking about? I mean, yeah, and I'm thinking a couple, a couple weeks will give me more of an idea of the show and, you know, where my place is at in the show and, yeah. you know, what I can um, bring to the table, well, so to speak. Well, I want you to know that I want you to f make a space for yourself and work something out where we can, where we can feature you. You can do updates. You can do... I don't know, hand puppets. Are you, can you do ventriloquism? That'd no, be but I'm cool. a quick learner. <laughs> <laughs> that would be funny if you could do that. But um, one of the, okay, that's great. One of the things we have to do is we do have to talk about the people that keep us on the air here. We're very, very happy and, and fortunate about our affiliation with the great Boston Main Streets organization. Boston Main Streets is that uh, volunteer-driven organization that helps revitalize business districts around the city. Uh, one of the things they do is they have a community. They've been around for over 30 years now. And uh, one of the things that they've developed that they can do is they do this. They get all the demographic information together for the property owners who have empty storefronts downstairs or are thinking of changing the venue in, in, in the storefront. And they get all the demographic information as far as who's living in the community, how much people spend in the community, how much people spend outside of the community, so that they can put the right kind of business in that storefront that'll flourish and grow. Then there is a design committee who works with the business owner once they're in there, because one of the, one of the goals and one of the missions is to get these startup business and not bring in these cookie cutter, you know, not that there's anything wrong with Papa Gino's, but you know, you don't really want, want one necessarily on, in every community on every street corner. So they're trying to get these mom and pop stores in, these startups and what have you. So they need a little help with their design and maybe getting through City Hall with their permitting and all that kind of thing so that they definitely work with them for that. And then the final uh, aspect of, of the, the trilogy is the promotions committee. Now the promotions committee runs new family get togethers, they run uh, different things that are featuring the restaurants or featuring the businesses. The Farmer's Market is one of the big things that they do in Rossi Square. And uh, it's, it's a, it's a, they've been doing great work. One of the very first ones practiced in an urban setting was Rosendale over 30, almost 35 years ago. And uh, it's been a huge success. Rossi Square was 
dilapidated and it just wasn't a friendly place to be. Right. And Main Streets came along and turned it into this destination. Okay. Awesome. You know, people are standing in line to get in restaurants in Rossi Square. And if you'd told me that 10 or 15 years ago, I'd have told you that you were crazy. Right. But, but now it's this thing. It's this cool place. That's awesome. And Main Street's made that responsible. So if you see a person out there with a Main Street t-shirt working at a table or handing out flyers or something, thank them for Amanda and I for their, for their participation in, in this program because they're only doing it because they love their community. And, and there's no better reason to uh, step up and get involved. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, the other thing that we talk about is this incredible building. We're in Boston Neighborhood Network. Is a, uh, is a cool cable television access center. It's been around for a long time too. Uh, what they do is, uh, the station you're watching right now is um, uh, Channel 9, which is news and information. And what they do with the news and information is nonprofits get to come in and sit and talk, bring guests in, field phone calls and what have you. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and talk about their mission statement and what's going on in their in their organization, and uh, is, uh, should we take a, should we turn our station, can we turn our, the, the station over to channel 23 to, to see what, uh, to see what's going on over there at the other station, is that going to be possible to do? Is anybody in there? Hello? Are you home? No, huh? No? Okay. Watch us, okay? <laughs> <laughs> uh, one of the, um, um, the other thing, though, that we were, good, we were trying to do was turn over to Channel 23, where it's access, where people pay a membership, small, 60, I don't know how much it is, a small membership fee, and then they get to do some television production. They take some lessons in Final Cut Pro, they take some lighting lessons, how to use these amazing cameras. We've got our great uh, interns behind the cameras today. They're, <laughs> they're, they're keeping us in focus, making sure that we're in the middle of the shot making sure that we're not out of focus and stuff. There she is. <laughs> uh, but uh, it, uh, it's a great opportunity to come in and learn how to do television programming and, and sign out the cameras and go shoot the local softball game or what have you. And if you're interested in doing any of that, please go to www.bnntv.org and that's where you can get all the information. Click on Jim Atwood's name. Uh, he can give you all of the pertinent information you need to join up here. And also, we're going to be, we're also, like I said, simulcasting on our new radio station, WBCA. Exciting uh, stuff. Yes, exciting stuff. 102.9 on your FM dial. Okay? I think I got it all in, do you think? I think. I think I got everything. Listen, we've got a great guest tonight. Why don't you sit back and relax? We're going to take a real quick break. We're going to check out Low Budget Records, see what they've sent us over to listen to. But listen, you're watching BNN TV's It's All About Arts and listening to us on WBCA 102.9 on your FM di dial. Uh, my name's Glenn. This is Amanda. We'll be back in just a couple of minutes. Do not go away.
Well, welcome back, gang. Thanks an awful lot for hanging out with us. Listen, I want to remind everybody that uh, this program will be up in just a few days on our YouTube station. So if you go to It's All About Arts, if you go to your YouTube station, your channel, and put in the search engine, It's All About Arts, and the number one, all of these great programs here from BNN TV's It's All About Arts will be there, available for you to see and, and point at and laugh at and do whatever you want. It's pretty cool. But we're also asking people to join us on our Facebook page, which is surprisingly called It's All About Arts. Uh, you can uh, join us there. And there's a lot more happening on that page than just what's on the television show here. We're featuring many, many different artists and different artistic adventures around New England. Uh, that's kind of the place to go. I do want to take one quick second and say I did get, I did get Peter and Lisa's uh, email. Uh, from Texas. Thank you very much for uh, letting us, Houston, you guys are in. Thank you for letting us know that you've been watching us on our stream and you discovered our, our YouTube station. Yes, there are some old pictures of me. Yes, I did have a lot of hair at one time. But uh, thanks for tuning in, Peter. I, I really appreciate that, that you let us know that you're, you're still out there and listening to us. But right now, it's my, it's my great, great pleasure and honor to introduce you to Christina Rosa Nelson. Did I get that right? Yes, you did. Christina, thank you so much for coming in. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure having you here, here with us tonight. You are from UForge Gallery. I am. I'm a managing member of UForge Gallery. A managing member. That's quite the... Moniker? Moniker. Thank you. <laughs> I was going to say that, but my sister gets mad every time I do because I'm stealing <laughs> her name. What does the managing member... Well, we're a collaborative. Okay. Uh, and every member um, has a certain level mm -hmm. uh, at which they want to join or, or uh, stay in the gallery or be with the gallery. You don't have to be a member to show. Absolutely not. Uh, the shows are open to everybody. Okay. Um, but the managing members make policy and dictate the, the future of the gallery, mm -hmm. and uh, we discuss... Um, budgets and yep. policies and uh, things like that. Now, programs. where are you located? You guys are on South, are you on, not, not quite on South Hunting, you're still on Center Street? Oh yeah, we're at 767 Center Street, yeah. uh, right down the street, two doors down from Dunkin' Donuts. Okay, um, I know where you by are. By the firehouse, yeah, 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 across yeah. the street from that the firehouse. That really cool section in there, I, I mm -hmm. know exactly where you are, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's fun. There used to be a tea shop in there, down there, that area. I used to go there, stop for tea. Mm. Nothing okay. anymore. It's good. Nope. Um, that's great. Jim, my Janice showed a piece there not too long ago. There was a group show, uh, and uh, I, I dropped off some work there, and, and it's a great room. It's, it's a wonderful space. It's yeah. probably the nicest gallery space in Jamaica Plain mm -hmm. and the surrounding area. How long have you been there? Since oh, um, in the monument area, in the mi we've always been there since um, uh, several years ago when um, 2011, when Brian Crete opened the gallery with a partner, mm -hmm. and um, the partner um, left, and Brian's been the gallery director since then. And um, as I said, we're a collaborative, so we um, are all equals. Yep. Now, it was interesting, you said you don't have to be a member to show there. Is there a jurying process? Actually, it's a varied process. For instance, next month we're having a juried show in August uh, where we submitted, artists submitted work and they were judged by um, uh, a woman who runs the Flux Gallery. Mm -hmm. um, and um, fortunately, my work, one of my works got in, one of them didn't. Um, I know. Well, that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> One did. Um, yeah. Yeah, I know. But um, basically, it's uh, you, there are certain parameters that you meet. Uh, mm -hmm. For instance, uh, this month's exhibit is called Cartographies, and it's all about how artists will use a map, either a virtual map or a real map, or a transcendental map, um, in their artwork. Okay. So we have just a huge variety of, of things. Awesome. Uh, I used an actual map in my piece, but other people were much more subtle about it. Okay. Um, that's, that's really, really interesting. Is there a uh, committee inside the collaborative that, that kind of has the artistic responsibility of, 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 of curating the walls? There are, um, there's a program committee uh, but as far as hanging the art on the walls, we 
Uh, it's usually done by Alex Kittle, who, who is our assistant director, gallery director. Thank you, Alex, please. I know the job. It's tough. It is. It is. It's not just a nail on the wall, as no, some no, people no. call it. Yeah. Um, it's, it's very laborious. Sometimes mm -hmm. it takes you know, 10 hours well, to hang sure. a show. I hang the shows out here. I know. Mm -hmm. It's not an easy gig. And then Brian Creed also hangs the shows. That's yeah. great. Mm -hmm. But I mean, as far as this month, we're going to do this next. Is it a monthly yeah, thing? Or yes. Yeah, yeah, it monthly. is a monthly. It's a monthly show. And we decide as a group what the show will be, what okay. our topic will be, or whether it be a jury show or an open call or um, whatever form that will take. That's great. Does that usually start on the first or? Of the, the first, we open on the first weekend of the month. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You only open on the weekends? Yes. Uh, we're open Friday nights from 6 to 9, Saturdays from 12 to 6, okay. and Sundays from 12 to 6. And what happens in the space during the week? Is it kind of like just... No, no. Sometimes, uh, uh, very often, people rent the space oh, and really? we'll have events there. For instance, we've worked with... Uh, Paper Cuts JP, the local bookstore, oh, really? and we've had readings there and That's book great. signings and things like so that. So someone could have a signing or a CD release thing or, or something of that nature there? Absolutely. We've had, uh, most recently we had a film series there, oh, Small exciting. Independent Films. That's exciting. Uh, the Clotruda Society. I don't know if you're familiar with them. They do small independent films. Um, we've had um, parties here. Mm -hmm. We've had... Um, Plays, you know, small plays. Oh, that must yeah, be yeah. cool. Yeah, that sounds mm -hmm. fun. Now, um, uh, do, you, do, you, do, you, do you have a reserved corner for your work? No. <laughs> but you're the manager. Oh, a managing a member. Manager. Right, okay. right. Like so I, oh, are there yeah. more, than one, like there's cool. more than one managing yeah, member? Yeah, there's several. We have uh, uh, about 10 managing members. Oh, really? And, yeah, and members in total. Um, I don't know the exact numbers. Yeah. yeah. Well, I know that you're a very healthy organization. I know, I know that you have, have plenty of people. Was Open Studios just recently? No, it'll be in September. It's September. And we will be open during Open Studios okay. as well. Okay. Now, what are you, gonna, are you going to have a members show there for Open Studios? September what? Um, open Studios, I think, is September 21st. Good. Cause it's, some, cause something around that weekend. I, I don't actually know because... I haven't worked with them. Because the weekend before is Rosendale Porch Fest. Right. Okay. Right, right. <laughs> we don't want any competition. Oh, oh <laughs> they go. would kill us. Are you kidding? <laughs> have you been to Open Studios in Jamaica playing the 80s? Oh, it's happening. happening. Wonderful. Oh, it's a I, happening. I would be there then. But there yeah. are hundreds of artists who show all their best work, and there are tents everywhere all over yeah. Jamaica Plain. Oh, it's amazing. And then there's some spaces that are in churches. Mm and other public buildings, so yeah. Years ago I got to show at the theater, on the theater over there on, uh, what's the name of the theater? In JP? Yeah. Like, oh, the Footlights the Club. Footlight yeah, Club. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got yeah. to show there. I was like, you know, I've made it. I finally made it. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a, that's a hard spot to get. <laughs> well, yeah. I get it. How did this happen? Mm -hmm. I said, mm -hmm. it was very exciting. And, yeah. and, and, and JP, J, you know, when we when we when Janice and I talked about opening um, uh, our Rosnell Arts Alliance to do Rosnell Open Studios, believe me, we met with with the cats over in JP, and we and we talked about what. How, what, are we, what are we doing wrong? We only have, you know, 30 artists that want to sign up and stuff. Mm -hmm. And of course, we've grown it since then. To, oh, exactly. It's, it's yeah. huge now. Yeah. But um, you're an artist. We'll talk, let's talk a little bit, if we can, about your work. Sure. What, what kind of, if there, if there was a website you're designing and there's that pull down menu and it has all of these different categories for different kinds of art and you had to pick one for your moniker, if you okay. might. Um, it would be mixed media slash collages slash assemblages. Okay, that's cool. Mm -hmm. uh, mixed media, are you, are you working on canvas or is that up in the air? Oh, it depends from piece to piece. Sometimes my collages are on mat board, sometimes they're on canvas, sometimes they're on old pieces of wood that I found. Yeah. I have one um, that uh, is um, uh, on a piece of metal I found on the Jamaica Way. Some rusted up piece of a car. Someone's and, old car. There's mm -hmm. lots of that on the Jamaica Way. Oh, I love the Jamaica Way for collecting too. things. And I also love Garbage Day. Right. Yes, because I get a lot of stuff um, that way. And, yep. I, and also Boomerangs is where I buy oh, a lot of stuff. Boomerangs is a great stuff. place, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, so an assemb uh, assemblage is sometimes large work. So are you oh, it can be in? really tiny. It can be, you know, two by two mm -hmm. inches, or it can be as big as this room. Mm -hmm. um, it's 
basically a collection of objects placed in a in an art, artistic context. Yeah. Um, mine are usually in boxes that I buy also uh, at uh. thrift shops or find in the garbage or get at wine shops. Um, most assemblages, I would say, are in boxes, but there are some that are in uh, just on, on boards. Um, the most notorious, I shouldn't say notorious, the, the most famous assemblage was Joseph Cornell in New York, and he did some fantastic things. He could be notorious if he wanted to. Yeah, be. I guess so. He was <laughs> an interesting man. Yes. Uh, uh, uh. Well, you know, you know, uh, I think I think most of us are. Mm -hmm. You know, pretty interesting. Uh, when you're doing your collages, uh, uh, is there any material that you like to stick with? Uh, Super producer Janice paints pieces, cuts them out into little shapes and sizes, and puts them all back together in different. Does her collages with decoupage mm -hmm. and stuff? Mm -hmm. Is there is there anything that you lean towards as far as I the lean material? towards the, the weirder the better okay. for me. You know, like I've I've taken um, sponges and baked them in the oven until they burned. And they look great. They're wonderful things. I take with the little fire extinguisher right there. Yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. So uh, I, but I use a lot of vintage images from um, catalogs. Or uh, I just a year ago I bought a a collection of vintage Swiss handicrafts magazines. Ah. And they're like how to knit, how yeah, to crochet. Yeah. Did you find those on eBay? Or where did you no, I found them at a yard sale oh, on, yeah. on, on, in Jamaica Plain. And I got a whole stack of them for like two bucks. That's great. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that great. So I use paper, I use... Um, and you tear them up? No, I cut them usually, yeah, but yeah. a lot of people do tear them up. Yeah. And I, um, I've also used rain bonnets oh. on my collages because you glue those things down and they bubble up a little bit and they have a really interesting look to them. Well, that's fantastic. That's great. Um, how long have you, uh, Amanda's pr pretty new at, at being mm -hmm. in us. She's only been at it a, a year or so. How long have you been slinging the paint? Oh, I would say probably about 10 or 15 10 years. 10 or 15 yeah, years? Yeah, I started out by taking classes and um, I've always taken classes. I, I take classes at the Elliott School with Amy Hitchcock great and place. Um, uh, Lynn Wascalis. She's a great collagist. And um, I've taken classes at the Museum of Fine Arts. Good. And I think that's it here in Boston. What is it, what is it, what happened that, that made you say, you know, I'm gonna start gluing things on boards when I find them? <laughs> I must have been an epiphany. I don't know, Is really. it something that just happened? I mean, yeah, just I, I took of, a, I, I took a course, oh, 11 or 12 years ago um, in altered books where you take a book and you cut into it, you make little holes in it, you glue things on it. Yeah. And I said, well, this is really interesting. I love it. And so I, I sort of moved on from there. Because mm -hmm. you, you both are, are, are kind of outside of, of I'm not going to call it the norm, but, but the majority of people, I know, have been drawing or, or being art, artful for almost ever, you know, is kind of mm -hmm. like an answer to hear somebody say, well, I'm just kind of getting started, or it's only been 10 years, you know, that, and only 10 years, it's only 10 years, you know, and uh, it, it always interests me to know what was it that, did you see a piece by somebody and say, I can do better than that? I was always artistic, and, and, and my undergraduate degree, um, I was an art minor. Well, so you've been an art bugger for... for yeah, know. and then but I went on to graduate school in, in U.S. history, and um, I put art aside for a long time, and then it just sort of came back. That's good. I'm glad. Well, you know, we're all, all artists, you know, and, and it's just some of us haven't been discovered, you know, that's mm -hmm. why I, I kind of like the way I like to look I at like it. I like the way you look you at know? it, yes. And because, well, I'm a te I teach these little guys. Uh -huh. I, have, I have this size, kids, <laughs> and uh, uh, they're all, it's amazing, the creativity. They're all so talented. And it then, is outstanding. Yeah. Un, un, mm -hmm. They haven't been influenced. Right, unbiased. Yeah, un, unbiased. They, they don't have any preconception of what they're supposed to be doing and they exactly. come up with the most amazing things. Exactly. And a nurturing environment too where yeah. you're free to explore and not be critiqued. Well I'm really lucky mm -hmm. to be at the school I'm at where they say Glenn let them go do it, yeah. assess them but do it. Right. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know mm -hmm. and, uh, uh, and I've been very 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 lucky. Um, uh, how was Porch Fest? 
It was great. I could hear all kinds of music from my bedroom window. I heard so it was a huge success. It was a huge success. Did you Forge get involved at all? No, no, no. 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 We're involved with other things. Um, we've worked with the Lauren Greeno House. Okay, we've, I was going to ask you yeah. what some of your collaborations have been. Uh, we've the... been trying to work with the Footlights Club. Yep. Um, we're trying to work with area businesses to sponsor some of our shows. And um, we've been very fortunate that Blick Art Materials Mm -hmm. sponsored a show in uh, November and they donated uh, boards. Uh, we all had to use this exact same size board which was a challenge mm -hmm. um, for many of us um, and they've donated um, mater other materials and they've been very generous with us. That's awesome. Um, that, that's great, that's great. Um, We've gotten a $500 grant from the city of Boston. That's great. From this cultural council? From the culture council, That's yeah. That's great. Yeah, yeah. Um, we um, have gotten a, a generous grant from one of the realtors, companies, real estate companies, but I can't say who it is until well, that's okay. right now. You, you know, you, are you a 501? No, we're not. Okay. However, we are, we fit the mold of the nonprofit by affiliating with a larger nonprofit which allows us to collect donations that are tax deductible. Well, they're your, they're your fiscal agent. Exactly, fiscal agent. I'm going to introduce you to Stephen Beard. He has okay. community arts advocates. Okay. They're amazing in Jamaica Plain. He's been there for a billion years. Okay, that'd be great. And, and, uh, and he, he's always supporting, you know, different things around. Mm -hmm. you, you're going to know him once you see him because he's everywhere okay. in Jamaica Plain. Um, uh, let's talk about that. that being able to keep the place open and stuff, some of the funding, I know, is there a membership? Yes, the managing members and the other members um, do pay a fee. Pay a fee, that's what right, we'll, right. We'll, they can go to the website to find out what exactly. that is, right? Um, last December, we sent out a, a fundraising letter. We that's got good. a little bit of money that that's way. That's good. Who right. are some of the businesses in the area that have helped you out? Well, not, I, the, the real estate company has, That's good. Um, but we are in the process of um, collaborating with them, and we're, I'm in the process of following up on a letter we wrote last month, yep. saying, would you like to sponsor a show? This is how much you would, this is, you would sponsor a show, then you, your logo would be at the show, it good. would be on our website. So it's the, regu the yeah. regular, you know, tit, tit for tat. You, you, you will put your logo up, you give us a couple of bucks, and mm -hmm. well, that's the way, you know, all nonprofits have to exist Exactly, that and way. it's, you know, it's a very difficult situation in Jamaica Plain because there's so many nonprofits. You guys have everybody in Jamaica Plain. Exactly, exactly, yeah. Uh, let's, let's, talk, let's talk a little bit, a little bit more about, about your work. Uh, what's hanging at you for now? Are you in there? Yes, okay. I have a piece that's based on a transparency of um, an African American regiment during the Civil War. My map, because it shows cartographies, the map is a, uh, two maps of Civil War era mm. South. And then I also have a transparency of a photograph of a slave market, an actual photograph. Okay. And there. What's the, the theme seems to be? Um, Civil War-ish? Yes, freedom, um, yeah. fear, um, reaction. I love those shows. Things like that. Make you think shows. Yeah. We've got some pictures of, of you, Forge, and some of the things that are going on there, yes. don't we? Yes. Why don't we run through them, okay? okay? I think we're ready for those uh, pictures. That's our logo. That's how you That's spell it, logo. folks. That's, yeah. <laughs> That's a great logo. Uh, Brian Creek actually designed that, and, and I think the colors are really great. I think so too. And that's at a gallery opening. Um, nice, people waiting out front. That's yes, awesome. I, and uh, during first Thursdays in the summer, at least in the past, it's been packed with people. Is there still first Thursdays going not, on? And Jamaica Plain, not so much. <sighs> I think Main Streets is um, kind of um, not actively involved in it right now. Well, they'll, they'll be back. I'm sure they will. They did a great job mm -hmm. with it. And um, now, what's the website? It's www.uforgegallery.com. Okay. And that is the, um, is this the show promotion this of cartographies. That's right. 
And um, how did sure. the reception go? Oh, fabulous! That's good. Fabulous. We always have a good turnout for the receptions. Great. Um, jurors' choice is in August. Uh, that's already the jur the jury process has already ended. So this is just um, telling us that the show's coming. It's exactly. ready to go in August. So it'll open the first weekend in August and close towards the end of August. Okay. And those are um, two works um, of local artists. Wow, they're nice. Maureen Tan, Kasseri, and Sean McCark. I like Sean's piece. It's jumping out at oh, me. Oh, it does. That's it awesome. really jumps. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Not that I don't like Maureen. Sorry. <laughs> I love Maureen, too. <laughs> Noir this is, is show. and actually you might be interested in applying for this because okay. it's not until the fall. Um, noir is a show based on dangerousness and dangerous relationships, sort of like film noir and the interplay of light and dark. Mm -hmm. um, and you, that's great. Any yeah, medium that's um, for sure. would be great. So it won't be just photography. Oh no, no. I plan to submit something. I'm not sure what yet. You may not have made it yet. No, I don't. I have not made it yet. <laughs> um, so this, these, these words you see are sort of the words we live by. Exhibit, come exhibit your art. Create, donate. This is how we support ourselves or, and support us in any way you can. And engage and collaborate with artists mm -hmm. and the community. We're really a community-based gallery that um, seeks to offer art and arts programming to the community. I, are you a resource for if I wanted to come in and do some encaustic and I needed to get some lessons, or could you, could, could you turn me in the right direction of where? Not necessarily. However, we do occasionally offer some classes. Mm -hmm. um, we, we offer some marketing classes, how to market it yourself as an marketing artist. Marketing is very, very important. It is. It's I can't tell you important. how many artists have no idea what they're doing when it comes time to... Oh, yes. Myself included. <laughs> we, we just had a, a great um, workshop on um, social media and, yeah. and promoting yourself that way. Yeah. We have had painting workshops sponsored by, by paint manufacturers. Mm -hmm. um, and we've had a watercolor uh, workshops uh, done by one of our artists. Mm -hmm. Um, oh, that's nice. Yeah. Nice. Everyone kind of gets a paper and, pa and some, bring some, some of your paints and, yeah. and do a little workshop. I yeah. love those things. Well, Heather Morris, one of our members, offered this, this class, this workshop, and, and she does exquisite work, mm -hmm. and uh, it was a really great workshop. Yeah, I, Janice is doing a thing called A Little Help, where she's, she's helping artists to paint this, put it down. Paint this, put it mm -hmm. down. Whoa, 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 wait a minute now. Wait a minute. Let's do some right, work right, with yeah, it, yeah. you know? And, uh, and one of the things that she does is she goes and she sits and talks with people and kind of just give them the ideas. Jot, mm -hmm. this, jot this address down. This well, is what you're going to do. You know, Anne Lamott, the author, wrote a book called Bird by Bird, mm -hmm. which was based on having writer's block, mm. um, which is the same as artist's block. Absolutely, yeah. And she says in the book that she always carries a set of 3 by 5 index cards in her pocket. Luckily, she has clothes with pockets, <laughs> which is great. And she said, ideas come to you when you're grocery shopping, when you're at church, oh, when definitely. you're at the playground with your kid. And mm -hmm. she, she just takes a card out and jots it down. Oh, that's the biggest thing. Mm -hmm. I've written more songs while I'm walking down the street that are going to be big, huge hits and turn around. I can't remember exactly. that. What exactly. did I do? You know? But that's true. And that's a little tip. You know, and, and that's some of the things that I think a lot of artists do. And I, and I see you for just being that kind of a, of a resource, maybe, where you could, where people could come in and sit down with the membership or invite people in who, anyone can come in, right? Yeah, You know what I mean? Absolutely. There's no membership cards. There's no so There's secret no handshake membership. or anything no, like no, that. No, no, we're not the Masons. <laughs> <laughs> um, Thank you. <laughs> you know, anyone can, can um, answer an open call and mm -hmm. submit um, a piece of work. And, Great. Um, you know, it sort of depends how many are submitted. And mm -hmm. um, Christine, let's get you back someday when it's just all about you. Okay. I'd love that. You know, we I'm can a talk. total narcissist. Uh, of course. We <laughs>
<laughs> that's part of being an artist too, you know. Uh, and, and where we can maybe see some of your work and, I would and talk love about that. some of your process and okay. stuff. Would that be okay? That would be terrific. Good. Let's keep the line of communication open. Thank you so much for Thank being here. Thank you for here. having me. And um, I urge all your viewers to support you, Gorge. Come see our shows. Yeah. Every month, um, we have a holiday um, shop in December, which is just full of artistic goods. All stuff made by artists in the area. Exactly. Yeah, that's yep. what you All need. handmade. That's mm -hmm. great. Wow. Thank mm -hmm. you so much. Thank you for, for having being me. Here. It's been a pleasure. Thank Listen, you. gang, we're going to take a really, really quick, quick break, and we'll be back in just a couple of minutes. Please don't go away. You're watching It's All About Arts. Uh, we'll be back in just a minute. Don't go away. Back, gang. Thanks an awful lot for hanging in there with us. Uh, we're back here with uh, Amanda. That was th that's an amazing place, you forge. If you haven't been over there, I advise everybody to get over there yeah, and check it out. I definitely plan on checking it out. Yeah, it's great. a weekend thing there, and but they, there's al always get to their website and and check out what's going on because there's always a little something happening, especially around the holidays and, right. and open studios and, and stuff like that, which I guess is in the last weekend in September, which will be cool. Sounds good. So that was a good show. That was nice. I liked her. And she should be back, I hope. You know, we'll get her back on here. To With talk some of her own artwork. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, to promote some of the work that she's doing because she's a fabulous artist. And it's, and it, it's interesting to hear of a collaborative like that where artists are kind of working together to keep the, the, bit, to keep the building open. Yeah. You know? And opportunities to hang hang their work. You should take a, take her up on that I invitation. I will. I totally will. Uh, it's, uh, I know that it's... In Jamaica Plain, but but in, in your over there, where are you? Rainham. Rainham. Rain Don't say it like that. Well, that's how you <laughs> said it. And it's uh, but uh, but getting your stuff, getting your work seen in Boston yeah. is, is kind of a big deal. I agree. Uh, next week, we have a great show. Next week, we have uh, Ryan Kelly, who's a sculptor. Is going to be, and I think he's going to be bringing some of his work with us. And, and Randy Vigaris, who is the executive director of the Hull Film Office, hmm. he's an artist, actress, and act her. She's an artist, an actress, and a writer. Hmm. So we're going to be talking about film, we're going to be talking about writing, film what's going on happening yeah. in Hull, you know, so it's kind of cool. Awesome. Sounds like so, a good what do you chat. plan? Got anything planned for the week, or is it just just classes like me? I got yeah. a class in about <laughs> ten minutes. Classes, um, making cold calls, doing some marketing. Good. How's that going for you? Good. 
you and Janice should get together at the same table one of these days and talk marketing because yeah. that's her big gig, you know, that's what she kind of I can definitely help does. out in that yeah, department. She, well, it'd be nice to get, you know, we're, we're working on, one of the things we're going to be working on is trying to get some of this programming seen in other parts of the state. Try and get some other access. Mission expand. Yes, mission expand. <laughs> mission grow. Yep. And uh, and and again, you're watch you're you're watching us at BNN TV and uh, Boston Neighborhood Network and listening to us on the simulcast on WBCA 102.9 on your FM dial. Yes. Which is always great fun. Thank you very much. This was a great show. This was a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, Listen, gang, remember what I said, that this show is going to be up on your YouTube station and share it also to your Facebook page. Please go and, and like our Facebook page. It's all about <laughs> us. We would like that very much. And uh, check out this show and many of the other shows that we've been doing here all these years at It's All About Arts in the number one. Listen, folks, get out there and do something artful for yourself, right? Right. So we're going to get, uh, you're going to work on getting your cousin's friend in here. My cousin's boyfriend, Doug Brawl, yes. Doug Brawl, that'd yep. be great, it'd be great. The more, the more the merrier, the more art, the better. Listen, gang, like I like to see, say every week, please keep in the forefront of your minds our mothers, fathers, sons and daughters, aunts and uncles, nieces and nephews on foreign soil. And please keep yourself safe out there. Hug a policeman for me, will you? Please, uh, they're, uh, th things aren't going swimmingly right now and I think that uh, that we need to do a lot of healing and uh, it'll go a long ways to shake a policeman's hand today okay listen we'll dig you cats next week have a great week right yes okay thanks bye -bye. guys bye bye now